Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you're watching and the place you are. My name is Apostle Jerry and this is uh, the Beholders Chat. And I'm so grateful to bring you the word of His grace that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance. Now, this is the Beholders Chat. This is where we just meet and talk about the goodness of the Lord, the word of His grace. You know, we talk about the uh, different things, the revelations. As the Lord leads, I believe you're ready as we are ready from this other side. And I know you are going to be blessed. I'm not alone. I have one of my good friends who is a minister of the word, minister of the new covenant, which gives life, not of the letter, which killeth. And I thank God for Jesus. So we have him and I want him to introduce himself. Thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Freddy Sky Blessing. Amen. And I'm happy to be here. Yes. Me, today we are going to laugh. I'm telling you. You know, we share the word and we learn at the same time. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes thank you. Thank God. And, and Paul is saying, growing the knowledge of Christ mm -hmm, daily. Yeah. So this is something that we do daily. Yeah, yeah. Before we start, I'd like us to pray. Then we go on. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you so much for the ministration of your word. Thank you, Lord. Even as we are going, Lord, to, to feed in your word, we thank you, Lord, that the Spirit of God is the inside of us, and he is here to, to show us all the truth. We thank you, Lord. Even, Lord, as we talk about Christ, we thank you, Lord, because revelation knowledge will flow freely by his grace. In Jesus' name, we pray, trust, and believe in. Amen. amen, amen. So, Minister Freddy, yes, sir. So, how have you been? Man, I've been good. How is your week? My week has been great. Praise God. God has been great. Amen. How is Jesus? Jesus is amazing. Praise <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is, is amazing. amazing. I can just but I, I know <laughs> what you mean when you say Jesus is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's only when you get the revelation of Christ you can tell Jesus is amazing. Yeah. You know, there are people outside there mm -hmm. who are so discouraged with God. Yeah. <laughs> and they are like, Baba Urisema. Mm -hmm. You know, I went somewhere, uh -huh. and uh, before I ministered, uh, mm -hmm. the pastor in the church said, uh, prayed for me. And as he was praying for the minister, I was like, was this a prayer of me? He said, Baba Urisema, kuwa pamoja na sisi, tulijenga hii nyumba, tukifikiria itaja, haijaja za zaona. <laughs> and you know, I was like, okay, 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 God is good, mm -hmm. you know, God is wonderful. And I think this is the mentality that the devil has put in the, yeah. in the ears of people mm -hmm. to see, to think that God is a bad God, mm -hmm. he doesn't care. Well, what's your take about that? Yeah, maybe that's, that has been the biggest problem. Yes. Because people will begin to judge God yes. because he hasn't met their needs. Yes. But you know, in real sense, Jesus Christ didn't come to meet your needs. It's not about him. It's <laughs> about, about it was about him. Yeah, he came to fulfill his word. Yes. And now, the moment people don't have the clear understanding of the word of God, uh -huh. that's why many people are end up in those decisions, the discouragements, and, discouragements and frustration yes. when yes. they are sick. They <laughs> know this is called the sending sickness <laughs> to me them. to see how I will uh, I will be here. Yeah. And I always say that then if it is God, then I know God to heal you. Why do you have to go to hospital? <laughs> yeah, Why yeah, yeah. do you have to to seek medication? Allow God to heal you. Allow God to teach you. Then heal you. <laughs> then heal you. <laughs> 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 God is a good God. Yeah, wow, good. wow, wow. We are so blessed and we thank God so much. So welcome. Today I have a very interesting topic I want us to discuss yeah. by the grace of God. And I want us to talk about the ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. And um, as I was looking at the ministry of reconciliation, there is that, something that came to my mind and I was like, Okay, if we are talking about reconciliation, it means before the reconciliation part, mm -hmm. there was an enmity. Yeah, yeah, and before yeah. the enemy, mm -hmm. enmity, yeah. it means there was a good part. Yeah. So there was a good part, mm -hmm. then the enmity. Yeah, yeah, and now yeah. because we are enemies, mm -hmm. let's now reconcile. Yeah. So I think it's about the three things. Yeah, yeah. And you know, uh, we cannot start by talking about the the reconciliation part because yeah. uh, my viewer would like to know who is reconciled to who and mm -hmm. why and for what reason mm -hmm. and I believe by the time we get to the end of this 
uh, this discussion, mm -hmm. your life will never be the same again. And I want us to discuss about um, the, the reconciled man. Yeah. The reconciled man. And um, this reconciled man is Adam. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this is a man that was made in God's own likeness and God's image. Yeah. But um, it seems there was a problem mm -hmm. between God and uh, man, yeah. or man with God. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why man wants to be reconciled back to God. Mm -hmm. Remember, I have said man wants to, man needs to be reconciled back to God, mm -hmm. not God to man. Yeah. And I believe yeah. by the end of this, we will, de we will know why. Mm -hmm. Now, I want us to go directly to the Word of God, and I will read from the book of Genesis 2 and from verse number 15. Genesis 2 and from verse number 15. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and to keep it. Mm -hmm. Verse number 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. Verse 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. In the day that you eat, you shall surely die. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this. Also, this is God. He has a... Uh, he, he has a... Uh, uh, Ameumba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he has Ameumba everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, he has made uh, darkness, mm -hmm. light, mm -hmm. uh, water, yeah. animals, mm -hmm. birds, and all, all of that. Yeah. And uh, in the sixth day, mm -hmm. we know that God made a uh, man and yeah, he yeah. said, uh, let us now create man mm -hmm. in our own image yeah. and likeness. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the important about man. This, mm -hmm. is, uh, this shows how man is so, so, so very important in the eyes of God. Yeah. Because the others, God said, let there be, let mm -hmm. there be, let there be, let there be. And it was, mm -hmm. including the animals. Yeah. But now when it came to man, he said, now let us mm -hmm. create mm -hmm. man. Let's make man yeah. in our own image. And likeness, mm -hmm. and I love it. Verse number, verse number fifteen, where we have just uh, read. Mm -hmm. Now this is God now taking Adam mm -hmm. to the garden yeah. of Eden, mm -hmm. and you know this was God's own garden. Yeah. God yeah. had cultivated. Mm -hmm. God had made everything to be possible. Mm -hmm. God had made everything available yeah. for man, mm -hmm. and now the Eden. So it, this means this was the presence. Of God, so yeah. God made man mm -hmm. to stay in His presence. Yeah. And look at this: Adam hakupatiwa na fasiya to work on anything. True, true. Wow. You know, yeah. everything was provided mm -hmm. for. Yeah. So it means there was a good relationship. Yeah, between him and God. Between he, uh, him and God. Yeah. And the Bible says from verse number 16, where we've just learned, and God commanded a man saying of the tree of that. Now God mm -hmm. gives them now a hint. Yeah. I, I love God. Mm -hmm. Because God doesn't want man to perish. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, uh, at the midst of the garden, uh -huh. there are two trees yeah. and they are at the center. And about the, 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 no, the, 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 the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. And the other one is the knowledge, uh, it's the tree of life. Yeah. And now he's telling man, um, I want you to, I, I want you to eat of every tree, mm -hmm. but not at the center. Yeah. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. at the center. So this was a good relationship. Until uh, where you have come, what can you say about uh, uh, that, 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 that thing? In fact, uh, when God when God created man, in yes. the beginning, in Genesis 22 to Mesoma, wow. in Genesis 1, Genesis. Verse number 26, uh -huh. mine 26. says, yes, I'm using the King, New King James Version, yes. mine says, then uh -huh. God said, let us make man uh -huh. in our image, uh -huh. according to our likeness, yes. let them have dominion, dominion over the air, wow. over the fish, over wow. everything. Wow. Now, after God had that desire and mm -hmm. idea mm -hmm. of making man, he included the Trinity. Yes. And yes. Uh, after creating man, he yes. said, let us make man in, in our own, own image. image. So man was to be made in the image 
of God. So meaning God was like, I want someone who looks mm-hmm. like me, yeah, some, who wow. we can relate with. Yeah, you know, yeah. God couldn't relate with the animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, well, or a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're, they're relating with the things. So he wanted someone we can talk, yeah, yeah. someone we can uh, think, mm-hmm. someone we can, we can discuss. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He wanted someone who they look alike. Yes. They, they can reason together, mm-hmm. just as Isaiah says. He's yes. come with us reason together. Wow. So that was in the mind of God. Yes. Of designing a man yes. that, is, that looks like him. Yes. So he says, in our own image. Yes. Then he says, in our own likeness. Wow. Then after saying that, yes. he says, mm-hmm. and uh, let them have dominion, dominion. over the fish. Mm-hmm. You know, God is the owner of all things. Wow. Just as the scriptures wow. tells us. God. There is God who created yes, everything. Yes. Nothing that, that is made mm. that was not made, made by, God. by God. So the sin and the unseen mm. came from Him. Wow. And so God. Wow, the sin and, and the unseen, unseen yeah. they come from God. They came I from love God. that. <laughs> wow. So what happened? Mm-hmm. When God designed man in His own image, yes. He then gave him dominion. Dominion. Given, being given dominion, mm-hmm. it means God gave man everything that made Him. <laughs> he gave them, He gave him authority. Authority. To be above all. Above all. Yes. He gave him authority yes. over everything that God owns. Yes. And now that's why he needed someone who looks like him. Wow. And when the devil heard that there is a man who looks like God and mm-hmm. has been given dominion over everything, mm-hmm. now that's where he began his plan to... to, to, to now, before we, before we come to that place, yes. mm-hmm. I'm trying to imagine uh-huh. God in the garden. Yeah. Because when you read the Bible, mm-hmm. you will see even the voice of God yeah, used yeah. to come. Mm-hmm. So I was like, um, there was some moments which God had a, a, a fellowship. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. fact, the reason why God made man mm-hmm. was to have fellowship. Yeah, yeah. So he went and, and I believe he was like, um, <laughs> Jua ya leo. Everything was good. In fact, if, if you read the um, where we have just begun, mm-hmm. you will realize even God created the woman for yeah. Adam. As yeah. seen, God is that good mm-hmm. such that He knew mm-hmm. what man needed yeah. even yeah. before yeah. man. But it's not Adam who asked for a wife. No, no, no. It's <laughs> God. Yeah. You know Adam doesn't know that he needs someone yeah, like him yeah, again. Yeah. So this is the mind of, of, of God. God yeah. So he, he realized you need someone mm-hmm. to be talking to someone you will be seeing physically. physically because yeah. Adam never saw God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In real sense, Adam never saw mm-hmm. God. Yeah, sure. And we believe that because uh, Jesus says, no mm-hmm. man has ever Adam seen has God <laughs> at any time. So, yeah. mm-hmm. Adam, uh, God wanted Adam to have someone mm-hmm. you can physically, yeah. you can physically uh, talk to, yeah. you can physically discuss, mm-hmm. you can physically, yeah. you know, embrace yeah. and enjoy the love. Mm-hmm. I, I love that. So, Till where you have come, we can confidently say that God is a good God. God is a good God, yes. even because mm-hmm. He designed man to be in fellowship with Him. Just wow. as Paul says, wow. man was created to be in fellowship with God. Yes. And now in verse 28, in verse 28. Yeah, that Genesis 1 to 28. Yes. My Bible tells me, also your Bible tells you. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm following keenly. Yeah. <laughs> then yes. God blessed them. them. And mm-hmm. God said to them, mm-hmm. be fruitful and mm-hmm. multiply. So it was also in the heart of God after He had provided everything that man needed. Mm-hmm. He blessed them, He gave them His blessings mm-hmm. and told them, be fruitful mm-hmm. and, multiply. and multiply. So he will multiply because God loves him. Wow. He will multiply because God has spoken. Wow. So God expressed his heart. And, and, and when you look at this, you can tell the authority that God gave man mm-hmm. had no limits. Yeah, it had no limits. Because um, he gave authority mm-hmm. and he was like, go and expand. Yeah. Go and multiply. Go and be fruitful. And so be I have given you power. So it is God mm-hmm. who gives us power yeah, to be yeah. fruitful. To be fruitful. Wow, yes, is in, in the book of Deuteronomy, it says, Desire yes. the Lord that yes. gives you power to prosper. Wow, to make wow. wealth. And make wealth. Yeah. So it's the plan of God for man to enjoy yeah. everything. Yeah. Yes, you are in the part of the snake. Now let's come back to that place. <laughs> the part of deception. Yes. You know, after the, the evil one heard that there's a man who has been designed in the image of God. Yes. And he has taken over everything. Yes. So he was filled with. with, 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 with let's say, he knew that he will never take over. Mm-hmm. And he desired to be like God. Yes. And so he came and deceived man. 
because he wanted also to take that mm -hmm. dominion yes. from man. Yes. But that was then the plan of God. Mm -hmm. But remember, the scripture tells us that the Son of God was crucified before the foundation of the world. Yes. So God, it, it doesn't mean that God knew man will fall. Mm -hmm. No, but he had prepared something in case anything happens, mm -hmm. then man will be saved. Mm -hmm. And so when the evil, evil, evil one came with his own deception, he yes. deceived man, yes. he took it separated man from God. Yes. That's where we see mm -hmm. God coming in Genesis 3, mm -hmm. looking for man after they ate the fruit. Looking for man, and he asked man, where are thou? Mm -hmm. Where are you? And you know, I, I believe God was like, Adam! Wait! <laughs> where are you? Where, where you? <laughs> <laughs> and Adam, this time around, mm -hmm. he was like, God, please, don't look for us. <laughs> we are we are naked. We are the please don't look for us. We are naked. And you know, I I I, I love that part. God was like, who told you you are naked? Who, who told you? you who told naked? you are naked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Freddy, who told you that God doesn't love you? Mm. Who told you that uh, that God has no good plan for your life? Who told, who told you? you that uh, you are a sinner? Who yeah. told you? You know, God uh, God was asking a question mm -hmm. that needed an answer. It was not a rhetoric. Yeah. It was a question that needed answer. An answer. And do you know something? Mm -hmm. It's not that God didn't knew that they have missed. God knew. But look at this. Even at that very moment, he was looking God for came looking for man. Yeah. Look at this. It is not man looking for God. I don't know where this scenario of, of man coming to God. God was just looking for, for, for Adam. And it's like, Adam, I know what has happened. Yeah. But look at this. My grace is sufficient mm -hmm. in your weakness. Yeah. I love that. Wow. So he's like, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And he's like, I am hiding. And you know, it doesn't mean that God didn't know where Adam was. He knew. He knew. He knows all things. Yeah. Yes. But the problem was, yes. there was a level where the frequency where God used to relate with, mm -hmm. with Adam, mm -hmm. but he couldn't feel him. Yes. He couldn't feel Adam in the place where he left in the yes. presence of God, yes. as we are saying. In fact, there was separation. Yeah, there was separation. But I would like to ask you, mm -hmm. uh, 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 mm -hmm. but the Bible says that um, when Adam, or when God spoke to Adam, he said, well, you, you will eat of this tree, mm -hmm. you will surely die. Uh -huh. But I see Adam living for, uh, for some years after <laughs> that. So my question is, does God lie? Mm -hmm. What can you say about that? You know, it, it wasn't talking about the physical death. It was talking about separation. That is the separation. Uh -huh. when, when, when man sinned, uh, when he was deceived, yes. he was separated from God. Yes. Because he chose his own way. Yes. You remember the psalmist says, the way that seems to be right for right. man, yes. but the end is death. Yes. So when Adam was deceived, he took his own way. Mm -hmm. And now he was separated. He died spiritually. He was yes. separated from yes. God. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that's what death means mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Wow. So, meaning that death mm -hmm. is not you dying cool yeah it's not physically <laughs> then we take you and you yeah, yeah so he was talking about separation mm -hmm. yeah he was talking about separation uh -huh. that's why jesus on the cross also said my god my god why, why have, you? have you forsaken me but it's it not that he d it was physical yeah. because before he said that he was alive he was alive but he said why have you uh, why, why, why have you left me alone yeah why have you done this to yeah, me yeah. And, and, and 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 this brings us to a point of uh, the the sufferings of christ mm -hmm. and the glory should that should follow mm -hmm. when he talk about the suffering then it's not the suffering of a uh, big the beating the beating yeah 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 it's not about <laughs> it's not about the fight yeah, it's not yeah. about it is about the separation and, and you know people have that People have this mind of when yes. they see Jesus Christ being punished, being dead. It was not that. It was, As in, it was based on separation. Yeah, it was based and, on and, separation. And, 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 and I look at this this way. Mm -hmm. You know, God is so holy. Yeah. God is so righteous. Mm -hmm. God is so good. Yeah. He cannot do anything do anything with sin yeah, he has yeah. nothing to do with sin yeah, he's so yeah, holy yeah. he cannot associate himself with mm -hmm. sin so now jesus was made to be seen yeah. because second corinthians uh, uh 5 to 20 it says he was made to be seen mm -hmm. he whom you know sin that yeah. he might become the righteousness of god mm -hmm. meaning that now jesus had to become seen yeah and now because he's seen god could not work with him yeah, yeah. so god had to be Separated i am sin. holy 
Memo Mzigwa yako. Memo Mzigwa yako. Wow. So what we are saying here is separation. Is separation. Now I get why we are talking about the reconciliation part. Uh-huh. There was an enmity. Yeah, there was an enmity. There is something that uh, uh, Freddy, I realized, and this really blessed my heart. It uh-huh. really blessed my heart, and I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. Did you know that um, when Adam, mm-hmm. when Adam, uh, Adam, Adam sinned. Mm-hmm. It is Adam, alipotelea God. Yeah, yeah. It is not so. God mm-hmm. when alipotelea Adam. Mm-hmm. So the separation was not from God to man. Yeah. It was from man to God. To God. Yeah. So it is man who moved yeah. from the ways of God, mm-hmm. and he he thought like. I can do it by my own. Yeah. And that now brings us mm-hmm. to the point mm-hmm. of now the working of, of, of what man now did mm-hmm. to be accepted by God. Uh-huh. And look at this, Adam tried. Mm-hmm. Adam, when he realized he was, he was, uh, he was uh, naked, mm-hmm. in real sense, Adam was naked. Yeah. And he was okay with that. He was okay with in that. fact, he didn't know because his eyes mm-hmm. were not opened yeah, yeah. to the things of this world, mm-hmm. to the patterns of this world. Yeah, yeah. But it, it was uh, God wanted him to relate with him mm-hmm. as a good God, yeah, to see yeah. the like God, mm-hmm. to talk like God, mm-hmm. to think like God. That yeah, was the yeah. uh, the plan of mm-hmm. God. Okay, mm-hmm. this was the plan of God. So it is man who came with a different idea on yeah. how to relate with him. Mm-hmm. And look at this. You know, they took some some leaves. Yeah, yeah, they cover themselves. They cover themselves. <laughs> <laughs> when they cover themselves, <laughs> <laughs> The sun <laughs> and all the yawans were like filthy runs to God, and God had to look for a solution. Yeah. I love God, mm-hmm. He had to bring a solution yeah. in the old covenant. You can mm-hmm. just imagine God bring the uh, solution in the old covenant, yeah. and the Bible says He killed a lamb, yeah. He killed a lamb, sure. and you know. A lamb in real sense, that was Christ. Mm-hmm. How? Because the Bible says there is no salvation mm-hmm. without the shedding yeah. of blood. Yeah, yeah. So, so God had to bring this mm-hmm. to manifestation in the old covenant. Oh, yeah. Though it was concealed, mm-hmm. it was not revealed at that yeah. moment. Yeah. But to us now it is revealed mm-hmm. that the lamb represented Jesus Christ and he covered them. Wow. So he, he covered Adam and Eve mm-hmm. with his own Yeah. Wow. 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 What, what can you say? You know, you know yes. when, when, when Adam sinned, yes. he, he went to heat. Yes. That's, where, that's when he realized that he was naked. Mm-hmm. But before that, they were still naked, as a matter of fact. Wow. The problem was, they were awakened uh-huh. to what they have done. Yes. God never wanted man to be awakened to himself. He yes. wanted man to be alive in God. Wow. He never wanted man to focus on what he's doing, mm-hmm. but what God has done for him. Yes. That's why God provided everything. Yes. And made sure that Adam will not lack. Yes. In the book of Isaiah 59, Isaiah 59. verse 2, mm-hmm. the Bible tells us, mm-hmm. But your iniquities mm-hmm. have separated have separated between you mm-hmm. and your God. Mm-hmm. It says, but your iniquities, the word iniquity is there, it mm-hmm. is your guilt. Yes. So what happened after Adam fell short of the glory of God, or mm-hmm. after Adam sinned, mm-hmm. he was guilty. Yes. So he was awakened to that knowledge of guilt. Uh-huh. And now that's why he was hiding. Mm-hmm. And God found a way of taking away this guilt mm-hmm. is by shedding blood yeah. and covering them. Yeah. That's why he came, he looked for them. The yes. guy is busy hiding. Yes. God is busy looking, is looking for, for him. him. I, really, I really don't understand how people begin looking for, for God. God. They think God is... <laughs> yeah. And uh, being like, God, I need you to break this curse. <laughs> yeah, I need you to Where you come to that? <laughs> yes. People, mm-hmm. but again, God is the one, who, from the beginning of time, yes. it's God who made man, yes. then it's God looking for man after man fell short of the glory of God. Brethren, this is the good news. <laughs> that God was busy looking for, for man. Yeah. Wow. So he came looking for them. Mm-hmm. Then after, when he found them, yeah. No, he had to deal with that mentality. Yes. That consciousness yes. of guilt. So, then he showed them, it is not about what you are trying to cover yeah. yourself with. Because they tried to show God, now mm, we are good, that's mm-hmm. not a piece of natural. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes. But their mind was like, what? 
tumekosea. We have missed. That was the biggest problem. We have missed. We have missed. Yes. And God never wanted man to be that way. Mm -hmm. So God said, you know, it's not about what you are doing. It's about what I have to what do. I have done. So I can change ile 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 kono and he covered them. And you know, and you know, and you know, Freddy, mm -hmm. in the old covenant, God never wanted man to come up with his own idea on how oh, to yeah. how to fix himself, mm -hmm. how to do things to be accepted. Yeah. From yeah. the beginning of time mm -hmm. God started showing them mm -hmm. that it's not about it's not about you. Yeah. You know, yeah. this gives me an, an example with the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You know, when uh, when these people had sinned, yeah. when these people had sinned, mm -hmm. and they were like, Moses, 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 we have all the serpents all over, mm -hmm. we have all the serpents yeah. These were the issues, sin consciousness, sin -consciousness. you know, yes. where there is in Atukula, mm -hmm. and uh, Moses, what do we do? Oh my God, we are about to die. Oh my God, this is what is happening to us. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Why don't you talk to your God? And God told Moses, lift one of the serpents. Yeah. Yeah. Whosoever shall mm -hmm. see the serpent shall be saved. Yeah. Shall be saved. And the Bible says in the book of uh, John 3 and from verse number 14, just as Moses lifted up the mm -hmm. serpent, the Son of God is wow. lifted. You know, God from the beginning of time has always wanted man mm -hmm. to fix his eyes yeah. and, to him. and to him. Wow. Not to himself. Not to himself. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at yourself, you will see issues, weaknesses, frustrations, yeah. discouragements, yeah. weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why people find it difficult to relate with God. Because you want to relate with God according to the person you are. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever noticed that when you go and preach to someone who thinks he's a sinner, and he's like, you know, God doesn't love someone like me. I do this, I do this, and you're like, please forget about the, the, your doings. It's yeah, not yeah, about your it's doings. Not about it's doing. about the my finished work. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Himself and uh, God Himself wanted to bring brought that picture mm -hmm. that man shall be accepted because of the blood. Of the Lamb. Yeah, of the Lamb. Wow, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We thank God so much. Uh, this is the Beholders chat, and we thank God. We want to go for a short break, then we will be back. Please don't touch that die. Remain blessed. Amen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Remember, this is the Beholders chat. Sure, I believe you are blessed. Please, as you listen, make sure you like the page, comment, share, and allow your friends to know this. This is the gospel that sets people free. God bless you. Amen. Welcome back, uh, Minister Freddy. Thank what you. a discussion with our God. So, uh, before we went for a break, mm -hmm. We were talking about uh, the the enmity mm -hmm. that, that came yeah. after man uh, has come with his own idea mm -hmm. on how to relate with God. Yeah. You know, I love God because of one thing. Mm -hmm. God is a God of choice. Yeah. He gave man choice. Yeah. You know, he was not like, uh, he didn't tell Adam like, um, hey, hey, this is the tree, tree of knowledge of good and evil and this is the, uh, this is the tree of life. Mm -hmm. I want you to it's this. Don't worry. Lazima. 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 <laughs> Nani mesema. <laughs> he was <laughs> like, at the center of the tree, yeah. at the center of the tree, we have the truth. Mm -hmm. You can either choose of this. Yeah. But in real sense, if you look at the content, mm -hmm. it's like Jesus gave them a hint. Choose yeah. life. Choose life. He, gave, he never said that choose life. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the kind of uh, the kind of uh, friendship, the kind of relationship he had with Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. uh, you could tell that he, he wants the best for them. Again, yeah. God is not there who, uh, and he's like, I want you Mukose, then I show you I am God. Yeah, God. You will know that you cannot do without me. No! no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, yes. Have you ever gone to the, uh, these ministers of the world who are like, it was the plan of God for you to fall sick. It was the plan of God for you to lose one of your members. Mm -hmm. It was the plan of God for you to lose things so that you may be accepted. And I want to tell you guys, anyone who tells you like that, that is a lie from the devil. Yeah. God is a good God. Yeah. He does not tempt, tempt people with evil. Yeah. It is James who says he does not tempt anyone with evil. Yeah. So when you see temptations coming and they are of evil, please, it's not from God. It's from the devil. Now, we are talking about the enmity. Yeah. So, Adam, uh, they talk about Jesus and God, mm -hmm. and because of that, there is enmity. Yeah. But remember, mm -hmm. God is not an enemy of man. 
Yeah. That's very yeah. important to know. Yeah. Yeah. God is not an enemy of man, mm -hmm. but man mm -hmm. has the a mentality that he is the enemy yeah. of God. Yeah. So it's all about the mentality. Mm -hmm. No wonder we need to renew our minds yeah. once we get to the word of mm -hmm. God. Sure. I want us to talk something about now the the law. Mm -hmm. You know, after after Adam mm -hmm. has sinned mm -hmm. and has fallen short yeah. of the glory mm -hmm. of God, um, man started doing things for God. Mm -hmm man started doing things for God, the things that God gave freely, man took that mm -hmm. as I need to do this yeah. to be accepted. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's why the law came, mm -hmm. because yeah. of transgression. You know, yeah. when yeah. the law of Moses came, the law never came for you to obey. Mm -hmm. The law came to show you that you need Jesus. Yeah. It came to show you that you need a savior. Mm -hmm. That was the main thing for the law. Yeah, and you yeah. maybe you can ask us, uh, why do you say that the law uh, was not to be obeyed? What, what can you say about that? The law, the law shows the standard of God. <laughs> not how much It's the standards of God. Yeah. Wow. It's not how man should relate with God. Mm -hmm. When the people say is do not kill, yes. it means I don't, don't kill. kill. Wow. When he says do not do not not it, it shows how God is. Yes. He, he is, I don't do this. Yeah, it reveals his righteousness. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now men, men men are trying to operate in that yes. with God. There is one of my friends, a pastor, uh he was teaching that the other day and, mm. he, and, he, and he was saying, if you think you can be able now to fulfill God's own mm -hmm. promises, so he was like, No, these are the fires. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> so he gave Moses like take it to them mm -hmm. and uh, allow them to work for this yeah to work for this mm -hmm. and you know I believe when Moses you know he found these people mm -hmm. even before the law has come yeah. these people already have their own God yeah already have their own God. Now that you have the the first commandment, you shall not have any other God apart yeah, from yeah. And when Moses looked at that, he was like, ah! <laughs> so, <laughs> the giver of the law yeah. was the first one mm. to break the law. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and look at this, and Moses said, what if I may have grace, if, mm. I, if I may get grace, mm -hmm. as in, it was like, um, I want to receive grace. Yeah. I cannot work mm -hmm. with what I think yeah. it is possible. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, and man started relating with God based on works. Yeah. Yeah. Based on works. Mm -hmm. I want to do this to mm -hmm. be accepted. I want to do this to be accepted. Now, in the book of, uh, the, the Bible says that um, if you obey the whole law mm -hmm. yeah. and yet offend one, mm -hmm. you have offended all. You know, there is this guy who who came to Jesus mm -hmm. as Jesus was teaching and uh, Jesus was on the horse uh, on the what do we call it uh, in, in the, this animal don't you yeah. and you know this guy was like Jesus I have obeyed the whole law mm -hmm. I have done everything yeah. and uh, I need to uh, I need you to to recommend me <laughs> and Jesus was like, eh, so you have kept the whole law. Good. Now do this. I know you are rich. Yeah. Go sell all your good things and give it to you and, and, and give it to the poor. And the Bible says, and this man mm -hmm. felt very, very bad. Yeah. Very, very bad. And this means that this man took his own richness mm -hmm. as God. So Alichukua is in Abazifanya, my God. So uh, I, I truly, I truly treasure yeah. all I have, and I cannot give it to the, to the, to, uh, to the poor. And you know that really shown that man cannot do anything to be accepted mm -hmm. by God yeah. Himself. Mm -hmm. So it was not for work. So God, Jesus, made sure that it is not what you think. Yeah. Uh, have you realized, uh, Freddy? Um, and when Jesus was in, in, in this world, when mm -hmm. Jesus was in this world, he came and, and explained to the law. He said, it, Moses said that if you do what? If you do take uh, someone's wife, mm -hmm. then you have sinned. Yeah. Because that's what yeah. the law says. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came and said, eh, 
Not that. <laughs> if you look a last fool, yeah. you have already, and everybody was like, and in fact, one day Peter asked Jesus, now if you teach like this, mm-hmm. who will be saved? <laughs> and Jesus was like, Yes, <laughs> I wanted you to come to that point. Hakuna <laughs> Buddha Yes, yes. What can you say about that? You know, when, when God yes. was delivering through Moses, so delivering the children of Israel yes. in the hands of Pharaoh, yes. he did at first he never gave them conditions. <laughs> he told Moses, he told Moses, yes. go deliver them. Yes. And when Moses went for them, yes. as they were coming, they are the same same people who now wanted to relate with God. They forgot God was delivering them by his, his own power. So they wanted to work out, uh-huh. to show God up here, see, see, to go mm-hmm. to I think we friend Uza. Uza, you And no one is scaring. No one is scaring, and I am here and I'm there myself. <laughs> And so the children of Israel, they, they were like, no, I think that Jesus said, yes. and they said, uh, tell your God to give us the law so we can relate with him. Mm-hmm. And God gave them the law. Yes. And after he gave them, just as you are saying, how are you going to well, before I saw me at Kwanza, I was going to have a Yes. Because when you break one, you are broken you can all. Now that I'm paying himself. And he's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to do it. He's not the law was given mm. because they asked for it. Mm. It was not the heart of God to relate with men through this law. Yes. It is man wanted to perfect himself and show yes. God that now I think we have come to a point where we can also save, we can also bring ourselves back to you. Mm-hmm. But God said, okay, since God has given man a free will, mm-hmm. He said, because you have asked for this, take the law. Mm. And, they went. and you know this law, the, the more they tried to keep it, mm-hmm. the more they fall short. The, yeah. The <laughs> and God made sure that you will not. You will you not. will not keep even one. Na you, will not. <laughs> <laughs> you will not. You will not. You will not. You remember this this guy when you yes. his mama. Yes. The good things. The good things. Yes. Things that I do. Yes. And uh, Isaiah tells us that your righteousness is like, is like field rugs. Now, the Israelites were trying to bring their field rugs before God. Yes. But God has just accepted them. The yes. yes. And so, by trying to follow the law, yes. the more they were separated. The more they saw, they are, they are not qualified. Yes, the more they, they are they far saw, away from truth. Yeah, they are far away from oh, truth. God. The more they saw, they are wicked. Yes. You know, the law reveals to you how bad you are. And it will not help you mm-hmm. to become good. Yes. So it reveals to them how sinful they are. They are. How they have rebelled against God. Yes. It reveals to them. Mm-hmm. But the law never told them, now, Sasa, to put This reminds me of the Pharisees. Mm-hmm. You know the Pharisees were so very, you know, these guys were so funny. Yeah. These guys wanted to relate with God by their good works. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, Father, because of my good works. Mm-hmm. In fact, do you know these people used to go even to the marketplaces? Mm-hmm. And they are like, <coughs> Father, in the name of Jesus! Mm-hmm. I am not like these people. Yeah. In fact, uh, these people used even to mention people. I am not like Madi, mm-hmm. the tax collector. I am not like Zakaya, the tax collector. I am good. I have obeyed the law. I have given yeah. my offering. I have yeah. done all these things. Mm-hmm. Oh God, now mm-hmm. I am qualified because yeah. of the things mm-hmm. I have done. Yeah. And you know, these were the Pharisees who mm-hmm. had their own righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, righteousness is right standing. Yeah. So they wanted to, to prove to God mm-hmm. that we can stand. Mm-hmm. By our own, yeah, we can stand by our own. Now, one in the book of Philippians three, is it three from verse number nine? Mm-hmm. It says, "Not that mm-hmm. you know." Uh, what, what does it say in the book of Philippians one and from verse number nine? Philippians one and from verse uh, yes three, three and from verse number nine. Yes, it says, mm-hmm. "And be found in Him, mm-hmm. not having my own righteousness." Mm-hmm. So, 
they are the righteousness of the law, mm -hmm. self righteousness, yeah, yeah. and he's saying which is from the law. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the so the uh, what and be found in him not having my own righteousness. So uh, our own righteousness, this is the righteousness of the law. Mm -hmm. And Paul is saying not being found in him not having my own, yeah. as in things that I think mm -hmm. I can be qualified yeah. and I can become. Mm -hmm. And because of this, you can count on me, God. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can count on me. You can uh, look at me and say, well done, my son. Mm -hmm. You have done it well. But he's saying, which is from the law? But that which is through faith mm -hmm. in Christ, yeah. the righteousness which is from God mm -hmm. by faith. Yeah. Wow. So it's not about works. It's not about it's not about works. Yes. In fact, that yeah. scripture tells us mm -hmm. that being found, you have been found. Being found. You have not found yourself. You have not found yourself. <laughs> you have been found. Yes. It's being found. Yes. So as long as you have been found, tell me like you be part one night. <laughs> it's all about Christ. Yeah. It's all about Christ. About and Christ. we thank God for mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. And now because of that, now we can come out to the reconciling. Mm -hmm. Philippians 3 and from verse number 9. Philippians 3 and from verse number 9. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. You know, uh, when Paul was talking about this, mm -hmm. He was trying to make it clear mm -hmm. that I have been found yeah, in him. Yeah, yeah. You know, being found in him, not having my own righteousness. Why? Because mm -hmm. all righteousness is the righteousness of the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I am of this other side, the righteousness mm -hmm. which is of faith. Yeah. Remember, Paul was Saul. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if he was Saul, mm -hmm. he was a murderer, yeah. he was an abuser, yeah. he was full of himself. Mm -hmm. But now this time around, no matter he says in the book of Galatians 2.20, it's no longer I yeah, yeah. that live it. Mm -hmm. But Christ now lives in me. Mm -hmm. And the life that I now live in the flesh, mm -hmm. I live by the faith of the Son of God. Oh, so yeah. he's saying that, please, I don't have my own righteousness mm -hmm. because I have seen how it works. Yeah. I have seen how mm -hmm. self-righteousness. I don't want, in short, I believe he, he was like, I don't want to to make God happy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do some things to be accepted by God because I have figured it out yeah. and I have realized it doesn't work. It doesn't work. What do you say? In fact, God yeah. also said yes. that I am who I am because, by the grace of God. Yes. I've just been accepted. Yes. You know, grace is the is the unmerited favor. Mm -hmm. I didn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. So Paul says, I've been I've just been accepted mm -hmm. just the way I am. I don't need to operate by pleasing God. Mm -hmm. He's already pleased with me. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus said. Come as you are. Come as you are. He said, just come as you are. Wow. Don't come with your with your doings. Yes. No. As in, he's not asking you to, to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Freddy, I have a question. Why do we go to crusades and tell people, Wachana na nami kuja kwa Yesu? Wachana na mshanati kuja kwa Yesu? Wachana na hizi kuja kwa Yesu? Why? I think the, the biggest problem is, mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says, study to yeah. show yourself a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Yes. Rightly dividing the, the word of truth. But now, if I've not, I've not, I'm not well established mm -hmm. in the word of God, mm -hmm. I will give people what I think or what I used mm -hmm. to hear people say. I'm, I'm getting the so, so when we don't have a clear understanding of how God wants to relate with us, mm -hmm. we'll give people ideas. Mm -hmm. But God has not called us to give our ideas. Yes. He has called us to give his own idea. That we always receive from. No, what Paul is saying, follow me as I follow Christ. Yeah, follow I am. Me. I have received the best mm -hmm. example for, for, from Christ. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. because I've received the best example for Christ, mm -hmm. now follow me. Now follow me. Wow. It, it, it is a matter of following Christ. Yes. Because Paul is leading people to Christ. Yes. And they that are behind him yes. are following what Paul is doing. Yes. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. And we all open face beholding us in the mirror. We are transformed into the same. The same. Image. So the more we focus on him, yeah. the more we are changed. I, I think you can repeat that was that statement looking on your camera. Mm -hmm. The more we look on him, the more we look on Christ. The more we look on Christ, yes. the more we are changed. Wow. It's not a matter of you changing yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of who are you looking at. So if Adam chose life, mm -hmm. then he chose God. Yeah. He chose Christ. He chose Meaning Christ. that that uh, Adam mm -hmm. chose the devil. Yeah. Chose the, uh, the works. Yeah. And God didn't want uh, 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 Adam to operate in that dimension. Yeah. He wanted him to look unto him. Fix your eyes and yeah, to me. Yeah. Because now, I, I love the verse that you have just said, mm -hmm. when, as in a glass of a mirror, when you look at me, you mm -hmm. can see yourself. Yeah, you know, yeah. a mirror, mm -hmm. 
you don't expect to see something different from what is in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. So once you see the mirror, you can see yourself. Yeah. Once you see Christ, now mm -hmm. you can see yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, when we say about the reconciliation part, mm -hmm. how do, does this apply? Maybe. The reconciliation part. Yes. You know, because in real sense, mm -hmm. when we say about reconciliation, mm -hmm. we are saying now, now this is God himself yeah. and the man mm -hmm. reconciled. Yeah. And this is man reconciling himself mm -hmm. to God. Yeah. And now this is through Christ. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe you can tell us, uh, uh, how did this happen? You know, no mm -hmm. man can come to God by himself. Yes. The Bible says it's the love of God that draws us near to him. Wow. So there is no man who has oh. the ability yes. to come near to God. To near to God. And man have fallen because he tried and yeah. he didn't work. He didn't work. Yes. God gave man his, a chance, mm -hmm. but he failed. Mm -hmm. So man tried to do his best to, to come back to God, mm -hmm. but he failed. Now God, because it is man who was separated from God. Yes. Now God, he, he himself decided mm -hmm. to enter into a body mm -hmm. that is Jesus Christ. Wow. And to bring man, to reconcile man back I'm getting to himself. Him. So, meaning the for the reconciliation now to happen, mm -hmm. it means that God had to send Himself. Yeah, God had to send. He is himself. the one mm -hmm. who is to reconcile yeah. us back to Himself. Back to himself. So yeah. it is not we going back to mm -hmm. God. Yeah. So there is nothing like. Uh, have you ever seen these conferences and uh, revivals and come back to God? Mm -hmm. So there is nothing like coming back to God. No. It is God coming to you. Coming. In fact, we will say yes. He, he, He's looking for the lost. Wow. He is him that looks for the lost. Do you remember the, the parable that Jesus gave that, that, that this shepherd uh, had a hundred sheep mm -hmm. and one of the sheep lo got lost yeah, yeah. and this shepherd mm -hmm. left the ninety and went for one. Exactly. Meaning that it is God mm -hmm. who comes to man. Yeah, it is wow. God. Yes. How can the lost look for for God? No, no, no. You are already lost. You're, you're you don't. Already you have not even found yourself. Yeah. Not even. No. <laughs> <laughs> not even found yourself. Yourself. So how can you find God mm -hmm. and you are not? Uh, so now when we talk about reconciliation, we talk about Christ. Yeah. Wow, and this uh, 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 this reminds me. Maybe, maybe we can have Romans, mm -hmm. Romans, Romans, Romans. I believe it's five from verse number eighteen. Mm -hmm. If I'm not wrong, eight from verse eighteen. Romans five from verse number eighteen. Verse eighteen. Therefore, as through one man's offense judgment came to all men, mm -hmm. resulting in condemnation. Even so, through one man's righteous act, the gift came to all men, resulting to justification of life. Verse nineteen. For by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Mm -hmm. Also, by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Will be made righteous. Yeah. So this means that through one man disobedience, that was Adam. Mm -hmm. We were made sinners. Yeah. So sinning is not what we do. Yeah. It's what we we, we inherited from, from, Adam. from Adam. But now, through one man's obedience, mm -hmm. which is Christ. Yeah. Now we have an access. We are made the righteousness mm -hmm. of God yeah. in Christ. So it's all about Christ. It's this all is about Christ. it's all about Christ. Yeah. No wonder now Jesus came mm -hmm. to this life mm -hmm. so that he could be like man mm -hmm. and he could live this life. Yeah. Wow. And because of that, now we have been reconciled back to himself. Back to himself. You know, in the old testament, yes. there is no way the Bible says that now come body wow. to the throne of grace. No. It is only after Jesus Christ had Become sin and part of our own sin to his own body yes. and die. Yes. No, the Bible tells us, Paul tells us, let's now come body and the throne of grace. Yes, I can see my director saying we are out of time, but we thank God so much. This is so nice. Mm -hmm. I would like you to look at your camera and uh, just speak as the Lord will lead you. Praise the Lord. God has reconciled you back to Himself. Amen. Stop trying to bring yourself back to God. Amen. No, He has reconciled you back to Himself. Amen. Remain blessed. Amen. Amen. God has a good plan for your life from the beginning of time. And He wants you to enjoy everything that He has given. Yes, Adam lost it. But now we have the last Adam, mm -hmm. not the second Adam. The last Adam. And the last Adam has come to reconcile us back to God. I believe you have been blessed by this show. We will continue with this next time. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share, and be a blessing to others. God bless you so much. This was the Beholding Christ show, and we were talking about the reconciled man to God. God bless you.
nice time. I love you. This was Apostle Jeremiah.